Yo, what's up everybody? A big congratulations to the people who managed to complete last week's training pack to 100% completion using the shots that were defined in the last video, the hook shot. Fantastic, well done on getting your pink belt. That is awesome. Last time I showed you an image and I said it won't make a lot of sense right now, but it will in the future. Well, we're going to unravel the second part of what I was talking about. We went over the ground dribble and how really there's only a few things you can do when the ball is at a complete standstill. And that is to push the ball. Now we can push it into the opponent and get a 50-50 or we can push it laterally, which leads up to the hook. That's all in pink. You see, they're all together. You see how it connects? Now, what happens after you do a lateral push? Can you do other things? Well, yes, you can. You can fake it. You can still get a 50. They can come in and challenge you as you're doing a lateral push. You can bounce dribble or you can carry, which is in green. And today we are working on the green belt. So we are going to do the carry. And because I feel it needs its own video, we are going to work predominantly on the flick. The flick is a very simple move that can get extreme levels of height and power, even with low levels of boost. There are many variants of the flicks. You've got musty flicks, breezy flicks, 45 degree flicks, 180 degree flicks, side flips, front flips, the new speed flip. There's so many flips. Which one do you do and when? Well, it isn't that simple. Let's, have, let's break this down. Premise of a flick is pretty simple. You have the ball on your car and you flick it in a direction you want. But how do you know where to flick the ball? How do you know when to flick the ball? How do you know what to do? That is what we're going to cover. So the first flick we are going to learn is the front flip. And to do the front flip, we put the ball on our car slightly forward and we literally do a front flip. What you got to think with flipping the ball or flicking the ball is you want the ball to go adjacent to what part of the car you're going to hit it with. So it has the most whip. For example, I just did a front flip and the ball was near the front of my car. If I had the ball on the back of my car and I went for a front flip as shown here, it will roll off the end. And that is the same principle. If I had the ball on the back of my car and I did a backflip, it would get lift because it's the opposite. I've got the ball on the back and I do a backflip. If I put the ball on the front and do a backflip, it's going to go away from me. It's actually very simple. You just do the flick in the same direction the ball is at. So if the ball is at the front, there we do a front flip. If the ball is on the back, we do a backflip. And if the ball is on the left side of the car, you guessed it, we do a left flick. And if the ball is on the right side of the car, we do a right flick. Pretty simple. And that is literally it. What will take time to work on is the ability to carry the ball. That is something that you can practice in free play a lot. And it's something that is it's almost like a lost art now as people have gone more airborne. They've forgot about the fundamental of just being able to carry the ball when and how they need it to set up the flick. Hopefully that makes sense. And the same thing with dribbling. If I want to dribble to the left, I put the ball on the left of the car. So this is stuff new players will find difficult to begin with. And obviously veterans will know how to do this. But if I want to turn left, you see I've got the ball like hanging off the left side of the car and that allows me to turn left you see because it because i have to turn left to keep the ball and if i wanted to turn right same situation i put the ball on the right side of the car and i turn right and now that'll, that'll allow me to do that if i want to accelerate the ball forward well that's an interesting one what you have to do is you actually have to slow down let the ball fall forward and then you can boost after it to keep the speed and the same as if i wanted to slow the ball down i would get the ball on my car and then i would actually rush forward and then that way i can slow the ball down do almost a standstill if you want. Hopefully that makes sense. And there are different sort of flicks. There is the 45 degree flick, or as I like to call it, the Lance Cannon. Um, and there will be a video uploading that on a 30 day experiment I did, which explains the Lance Cannon in depth, which was previously uploaded on my old channel, but I am uh, re-uploading everything on this channel now. And there are of course other flicks. You have musty flicks, but for now, let's just get the basics. After all, this is the green belt we're going for now. We don't need those more difficult moves we are learning the ground fundamentals and of course to do so you better believe it baby i got you a training pack so obviously i got you guys a training pack head over to training custom uh, the code will also be below it's the green belt first strike because the green belt as we saw is comprised of a few things such as the carry into the flick then into an air dribble into a pop into a fake into a ground dribble and all of this you will see slowly right now how everything's starting to loop together the whole offensive system actually all links together and we should be able to go to different areas whenever we want and integrate that so Here's the uh, green belt first drive. And you're going to notice some of these shots look very similar. This almost looks identical to last time with the hook shot. That's because it is. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to push the ball. We're going to set up the hook shot. But this time, we're just going to scoop under it. And now look, we have got the dribble going for the flick. You see how simple it is. And now what you must be thinking is, wait a minute. Does that mean I could have done a hook shot there? Or I could put it on a, for a flick? 
Yes, and now we're understanding the game. Now we're understanding the offensive system. We could have faked, we could have 50'd, we could have done many things, but for now, we've got two choices. From what we've learned so far, we can hook shot that or we can carry it with the various flicks and that will take practice. And that's what this is about. This is what training is about. So again, we go for the push, we hook into it because we've got a time constraint on this one. Put it where we want, okay, it's on the right. And I'm not I'm not forcing it, I'm just going with the flow with this. But you see how the ball is on the right? Look at this, I scoop it up, take it to the left, it goes on the right. So what do I do? I do a side flick to the right and it pushes it to the right. That would work, quick movement to the right. Here we go, it starts on the car this time. You've got no seconds, you cannot drop the ball. So this is gonna work on your ball handling. You have to come up with a flick. It's up to you what you wanna do with this. You can practice all variants of flick. Same as last time, do we go for lateral hook? Oh, I don't know. He's backed off a bit. Oh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna carry the ball and just flick it right at the end. Same again, but this time five seconds, we go across. Are we gonna hook shot? Nope, same again. I've seen him back off. I'm gonna put a power flick on. Would have liked to have got a bit closer. Would have liked to have got a bit harder. But hey, you guys can do a better job than me, right? Same again. We cannot drop it. We just put a shot on. Not perfect. But again, I want to see you guys do this perfect. And I know it's in you. Twice a day training, baby. We've got the ball rolling towards us. We catch it. We can do whatever we want. But maybe we'll go for that 45 degree we were talking about. Same again. It's going to bounce. We've got to catch it. So again, it's bouncing ball. We're just going to catch it, control it, just get a flick anyone we want. So now we've got a bit of a, a moving ball. Maybe there was a pinch. This is adding a bit of dynamicness to it. The ball bounces. So we catch it, we control it. And then from there, we're just going to hit a flick. And I just put that in an awkward angle. The ball is rolling to the left. So I just flip to the left and you'll see it wasn't spectacular, but you just see the fundamental come in. It went to the left, so I flicked to the left, and it pushed it across to the left. Same here. Bounces. We're gonna. You can catch it there if you want. If if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can catch it earlier. But I'm just gonna wait for the second bounce. Control it. I switch. You see how I switch my camera as well? Okay, so that's something I want to talk about. I go from ball cam to outer ball cam, and that makes it easier to control. But if I was in ball cam, I'll show you here. If I scoop the ball up in ball cam, I can't really, as I go around, it's, it's very difficult. You see how it's bobbling on? I can't really keep control. Now, if I go out of ball cam, as the ball comes over, I can see everything. I can see my opponent. I can see when they're challenging, so I can just flick it over the top of them. Okay, so keep that in mind. And the last shot, again, it's rolling here, so you might have had a pass or something, but it's just working on that scoop to the carry. I'm sure you guys can do a much, much better job than me. Ultimately, the goal is to get some pretty hard high flicks. And of course, we have help as always in the handout. There is a handout on the Discord um, for this one. If you go into challenge information, the green belt handout will be in there, as will the code to the training pack. Good luck, guys. Good luck getting your green belt. Remember, remember, still continue to do your pink belt handout. You guys, are, I bet you guys are still sick at the pink belt stuff. And at the end, we will bring all this together for the ultimate challenge on the beginning of the ground dribble series. And then we're going to take it to the defensive system, then to the air. And then we're going to go airborne. Once we've got all these fundamentals down, we're going to go airborne. And then we're going to do the ultimate test one day. I mean, it's going to be a big course. There's going to be a lot of information on this. For some of the more advanced flicks, like I said, I will be uploading some of the older videos. How to do the breezy, how to do the lance cannon. That's the 45 degree flick. So hopefully, guys, you enjoy all of that. Please let me know in the comments below if there's anything you wanted me to go more in detail on. If there's anything you don't understand, I will try and help you out as best as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time with this. Enjoy. And remember, you can only get your green belt if you get your pink belt. So come to the Discord, prove that you've done the pink belt stuff, then prove that you've done the green belt stuff, and you will get that role. Take care, guys. Peace out and enjoy. Peace.